Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. Analysis complete. Please select a deployment point. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Please select a deployment point. Visibility in the 
jungle isn't great. Watch out. You could run into the enemy at any time. Feel the roots. The branches. Analysis. Become one with the forest. Complete. The forest is aware of the enemy's noise. You must be too. Our early warning radar still hasn't picked up the enemy choppers. But it's only a matter of time before they arrive. The PF soldiers have no idea what's in those containers. Strictly a need-to-know basis. He's coming to... Target extraction confirmed. Extraction. That leaves one target to go. Take care of the next one. Boss, our early warning radar just picked up the enemy choppers. We'll keep you informed of their ETA. Hurry up and extract the target. You can't go firing on the XOF choppers. If we attack XOF now, it'll be a declaration of war against Cypher itself. That time will come, but it's not now. Map has been updated. Emmerich uses externally powered legs of his own design. It's bionics technology, a product of the U.S. military's failed attempt to develop a powered exoskeleton. All the wearer has to do is apply a little force. Movement in that direction. But his legs are unique. Instead of using a hydraulic mechanism, the actuators run off metallic archaea. That increases the actuator's reaction speed and also enables him to lock and release the joints at will. The legs are a nifty little gadget, but they have two clear weaknesses. First, they're dependent on external power. Maybe because he built them knowing he couldn't leave his lab. Alright. Target extraction confirmed. We've avoided the worst possible outcome. Second, exfiltrate the area. Go ahead and call the chopper. You can also exfiltrate the mission area by land. Could be to minimize signal loss and the order's output to the legs and the drive response from them. Either way, Emmerich has used bolts to attach load-bearing parts directly to his femurs. Probably by mimicking surgical treatment for compound fractures and the like. But the end result is those legs and his body are fused together. And that appears to be how he's able to move them so Boss, come in. Boss? Boss? Target extraction confirmed. That leaves one target to go. Boss, our early warning radar just picked up the enemy choppers. We'll keep you informed of their ETA. Hurry up and extract the target. You can't go firing on the XOF choppers. If we attack XOF now, it'll be a declaration of war against Cypher itself. That time will come, but it's not now. Emmerich uses externally... You said that the nuke Skullface was trying to spread around the world were equipped with a failsafe. Something that can shut them down at will. His will. Quite so. After all, he needed a guarantee. That a fire wouldn't simply turn the weapons back on him. So how can they be stopped? The criticality trigger, that is, the detonator, is a complete black box design. 
Any attempt to dismantle it causes it to melt in seconds, using the corroding archaea. The design ensures that no detonation is possible unless he disengages the lock. So he had a way to disengage it remotely? Precisely. The client simply presses a button. At that moment, the Please detonator begins transmission with a surveillance satellite. The satellite reports to him how the client is trying to use the nuke. If he does not object, the lock is disengaged. But if it's a risk to him in any way... The detonator melts down. The same is true if detonation does not occur within a preset time after the lock is disengaged. The nuke is rendered useless. Who the hell would buy Boss, something with you don't have much time. Move it! The client would never know until the moment they actually try to use it. Likely, you will have explained the time delay. Good. You've completed the objective. Now get out of there. The map has been updated. Mission complete. Great work. We got Code Talker's research materials back in one piece. The medical team has them under lock and key in the quarantine facility. The materials should help their research into the vocal cord parasites. Cypher won't be getting their hands on them now. time in the field is bad for the body and mind. I think it's time you took a break. Do it for me. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Stay back. It's too dangerous. Hey. Back up, kid. I said no. You have to stay back. Some things can't be helped. Back to your quarters. What's going on? Shabani. Mayaka Nine Kingoya. Shabani. It's down there? Hey! The tank at the bottom is filled with chlorine disinfectant. One whiff and you'll suffocate. Don't even. How could you let it fall down there anyway? There is no 
Way to recover the body. AI pod you retrieved from Emmerich's research facility. Guess what we found inside? A corpse. Human. The pod maintained a low internal temperature the whole time. Very little outside air got in. That would have slowed down decomposition. Still, the remains were mostly skeletal. Estimated time of death is between six months and a year ago. We pulled the screws to Huey about it. Listen to the tape. Turns out it was the body of someone we knew very well. was doing AI research in that lab. Why hide that until now? I, okay, so what? I, I wasn't working on... Alone. You've got to understand. You do understand, right? I, I didn't want to drag her into this. It's my load to bear. Alone. So you didn't create the AI intended to drive Sahalanthropus. It was strange, love. Skullface was never in favor of AI control. So naturally, they argued. Strange, love. She, she got him angry, and then he killed her. How? You didn't see. So you found her inside that pod after the fact. And you just left her body to rot in there. Or perhaps you put her in there afterward. I, I, I asked him not to take her away from me. So she was killed by Skullface, but you asked nicely. Deploying. 
arrived at mother base code talker examined everyone here and one of us is infected it's quiet it was our cutting edge mri that finally revealed it but we don't know what language strain it is get back to base time for her to talk you know the room number 101 <laughs> 